Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I am so excited. I don't know what will I name this video yet but I used all the affordable products that I have in my collection and I created this look here which is super easy. Also it's super affordable. Also it's super blinging. You're gonna be slaying on a budget so I got you girl. Keep on watching this video if you want to see how to get this look using all my favorite affordable makeup and uh, yeah let's get started oh also before jumping on uh, before before moving on I'm all over the place before moving on uh, click on the subscribe button and hit on the post notification bell as well and also if you are uh, subscribed here you can follow me on Instagram as well I post makeup videos there every week or you know more makeup related stuff because I do like hauls and stuff on my Instagram so yeah and now let's move on to the video so um, my brows and my primer eye primer is done and for brows i know i always do it off camera and i never show what products i use and this is the product that i use it's a really old brow bra like um powder and it's like really really old i should probably throw this one out it's like around almost four years now I still have so many left so I'm still using this and for eye primer I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm going to be using this later in the video as well so yeah let's start and uh, for eyeshadow today I'm going to use the Colourpop um, Yes Miss palette and honestly this palette is not available in India I know but the color scheme is so beautiful the price is so like affordable you can totally purchase this one and if you are a beginner you will get a lot of use out of this palette this palette has a lot of variety like this one you can use this for an everyday just like a quick go to makeup you can use this red and this yellow for a pop of color and then you can have your oranges as well you have your cranberry shades for autumn and you have your yellowish gold your whitish gold so you have you get a really good variety and today i will be using this one this uh, retails for around the price of 1800 and i will leave the sites down below where you can get this palette and it's almost around the price of nyx eyeshadows so i would definitely recommend you guys to check this palette out because the pigmentation the formula of colourpop eyeshadows are really really good they are one of the best palettes that i have okay so start to start off i'm going to use the yellow here i don't think i ever used this yellow on my tutorial like on any of my videos so i am going to use this yellow i'm going to actually pack this one first and then blend it out this look is going to be very very simple honestly i just don't want to do anything like too much too crazy so i'm just keeping this very simple but it's not like a really easy like go to look it's this look is going to be a little of like puff of color but it's not going to be too too crazy as well so can you see the yellow is really pigmented it's not something of a lighter pigmentation the yellow is totally pigmented you do have to build it up though and honestly i would recommend using a really light concealer to make your colors more vibrant and just pack on the color first in your crease and then blend the edges Okay, so after my yellow is done, now I'm moving in with a red here. So I'm going to take this shade right here. I'm going to pop this on the outer corner. 
I'm just packing the shadow for now and then we'll blend this out slowly. So when you try to blend the yellow and the red, it forms like a really good gradient orange here. You can see this part, yeah, there is like a little bit of orange. So try to pack the eyeshadow and just like blend it really softly. Now we have to blend the edges. So I'm just taking this Morphe brush. It's a clean brush. I'm not taking any product here. I'm just like blending the edges. I'm going to deepen up the outer corner more and I'm going to take this brown shade right here. It's a really dark brown. Just going to deepen up the outer corner. I'm not going to take it like inside, I'm just like putting this right here. After doing that, I'm just going to take my Morphe, the previous brush, and I'm going to blend everything. Okay, so after that, I'm going to take this light, almost like a white pinky base, and with a flat shader brush. And I'm going to place this on the inner parts of my lid. And I'll try to like mesh this area so that it looks kind of blended. So my eyes are done at the moment. But I am going to put on some mascara and I'm going to put on some falsies. For mascara, you can use any mascara you want. If you are not applying falsies, then I would definitely suggest the Maybelline Less Sensational. You can use any mascara from Maybelline, they are all good. But this one is like for more dramatic lashes. If you're not applying falsies, this would like look really good on your eyes. But if you're applying falsies, you can go ahead and use any mascara you want because obviously you will be applying falsies, so they won't make a lot of difference. But for falsies, these are my favorite pair of lashes that are so, so inexpensive and looks so good. Like I have worn these lashes so many times now that I just, I just have to say these are my favorite lashes and they look like lash extensions. They look like your real lashes, like how lash extension looks, they look like that. And these are on the price of 300 rupees if you buy them from Amazon. So really, really affordable lashes. But I do have to say that the lash glue I use is from House of Lashes and this one is not really affordable. If you can use the Duo lash glue, go ahead and use it because I know many people like the Duo. But for me personally, I don't like Duo glue because I don't know, it slips and slides or maybe I'm really bad at applying falsies. I don't know, but these ones are a bit expensive. Not a bit, a, real, a lot expensive for lash glue, but they work for me. So I have been using this like for a year now and it's still going strong. So definitely, even if it's an investment, I am really getting better at falsies just because of this glue. So yeah, I will be back putting on my falsies. And so, so I'm back after applying falsies and my skin is feeling a little bit dry so I'm going to moisturize it with bio oil and then I'll be going in with primer. And for bio oil, I think it's like a really inexpensive oil, facial oil that you can use to moisturize your face, you can use it in your foundation to make it a little bit dewy, you can use it as a nighttime cream or a nighttime facial oil. You can use it in really many different ways. So I think it's a really good product and you get this on sale 
all the time. Like I see bio oil on sale all the time. Okay, after this, I'm going to keep this on for a few minutes and then I'm going to go in with my primer. For primer, I'm going to use the Nivea Aftershave Balm. And I think I've used this a lot on my channel, so I won't be speaking a lot about this one. I, it's a really good primer if you have oily skin, dry skin, combination skin, normal skin, any skin type. I think it's a really good primer. It adheres the foundation to your face and makes it last for a really long time and also makes it like look really, really flawless. I'm going to go in with the foundation. I'm using the LA Colors Truly Matte Foundation. And this foundation is so, so affordable, yet so good. Like, this foundation is so good for such an affordable price. It has a really good coverage. It good looks good in pictures. It matches my skin really well. Like It sinks into my skin really well. It lasts for a really good time. going to go in with my beauty blender and I am not using the Maybelline Fit Me because I think a lot of people uses the Maybelline Fit Me and I think this LA Colors foundation needs like a moment of its own so I really love this and it's not as natural looking as the Fit Me one but it's really good coverage it actually looks really pretty on the skin honestly it does and the coverage is so good like you can totally see the side and the side. There's like a huge difference. And if you have dry skin, I would definitely recommend you prepping your skin really well and then applying this foundation. But if you have oily skin, then you are in luck because this foundation is going to suit you perfectly. Also, I have like a full dedicated review video on this foundation so I will link that down below if you in case you want to like go and check it out. It's it's like it's worth buying and this foundation is on sale on Amazon, Nykaa, Hawk Makeup. This foundation always remains on sale so if this is on sale I will leave the link down below and you can get it under the price of 500 so really good stuff huh so I'm done with my foundation and you can totally see how big of a difference it makes so after that I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me concealer but also I do want to say that uh, before like jumping into the concealer I do want to say that if you really want a flawless concealer and a really good coverage which blends into the skin really really nicely I would recommend using the Colourpop No Filter Concealer. I use that on all of my videos, like mostly on all of my videos, because that concealer is bomb. But also I want to say that I have used already one Colourpop product, so I'm not going to use it again. So definitely I... This one is also really good if you are looking for something a bit of a lighter coverage. This one is really good for that. But if you want really like a medium coverage concealer that looks really good on the skin then I would recommend the Colourpop one it's good this one also really blends to the skin really nicely So concealer is done, now moving on to powder. I don't normally set my uh, foundation, I don't like to. And oh my god, I have just hit pen on this. Uh, okay, so I'm going to set my concealer with this banana shade from Wet n Wild Contouring Palette and it's in Caramel Toffee. So this one, I'll be using this as a bronzer's day and this as an under eye uh, powder. This powder is so good. It just melts into the skin really well. Like it looks, it doesn't look powdery at all. So I really love to uh, brighten up my under eyes with this yellow shade. And the bronzer is so good, so warm and so like a really good bronzer. It melts into the skin. Really, really good. So 
Within 500 bucks, you get both of these products, such as steel. So, okay, so for setting the like the whole of the face, if you are someone with a uh, oily skin, you might like to set your foundation. So for that, I would recommend the Fit Me, Fit Me, yeah, Fit Me powder, Maybelline Fit Me powder. And this one is also not really powdery. It's not too too drying. It doesn't look cakey on your skin. You know when you're using powders, you want your skin to look like skin and not really powdery or cakey this doesn't do that it has a really nice set and finish to it so really really good but i'm not going to set my face as i already said i'm moving on to bronzer and for bronzer this one Okay, so now moving on to blush, I again have a color pop. Sorry, Wet n Wild recommendation. I love Wet n Wild products, honestly, and they are available on Nykaa, so I don't feel like iffy on saying that as like versus color pop because color pop is not available in India, so I just don't want to say color pop. But anyway, I, but anyway, this is the color Wet n Wild color icon blush in Mellow Wine, and this is the most amazing blush I have in my collection because this is beautiful it like gives just a flush of color to your cheeks not too much it's pigmented but it's right amount it has the right amount of pigmentation so your face doesn't look clown like when you're applying too much of blush so this is how my face looks so for highlighting I'm going to use the Miss Claire baked eyeshadow in number 13 and i always use this honestly there is nothing more to say amazing highlighter 250 bucks available on nika go and get it so i'm going to use the bh cosmetics 101 brush and highlighting my cheekbones hmm. for 250 i don't know what to say you need this face looking all good okay so for lower lashes i'm going to go in with this shade and this shade mixed in together and i'm just going to do my lower lashes using this on my bottom lashes and now there is only one left that's which are lips and for lips i'm going in with my favorite favorite lipstick of all time ever which is the um maybelline stupor stupor maybelline super stay matte ink lipstick in uh, fighter the shade the lipstick formula really really good it stays on for hours it's not drying and it's matte doesn't transfer really good really good but if you are looking for an alternative not alternative if you are like one of those bullet type of regular lipstick type of girl i would suggest the wet n wild uh, mega last lipstick these are the bullet type and these are only 250 really good too and uh, this is the shade sandstorm which is a really good nude so definitely look into these if you are someone who likes um more of a bullet type of lipsticks Okay, so this is how my makeup looks and I'm going to set everything with the Wet n Wild um, Photo Finish Primer, Natural Finish Primer and Okay, so this is my finished look and as you can see all the products, I used all the products which I love and these all fall under the category of budget friendly. I don't want to say these are super super budget friendly like consisting of 300 uh, eyeshadow palette or 200 uh, foundation <laughs> but these are fairly affordable so the only thing that I'm like I didn't want to include but I had to which is the Colourpop no filter not no filter the yes please palette 
I personally love this one a lot. I use this all the time, all the time. Honestly, if I travel sometimes, like I would take this one with me because I know I will be getting a really good eyeshadow look with this one. These blends really nicely. So even if you're paying a little bit higher than you want to, just try this one out. The rest were good. Sometimes I do know I try a lot of high-end makeup or products which aren't affordable or which aren't budget friendly for many people. So definitely these are some of the products which I have in my collection which perform really good. Like some high-end makeup, like some really expensive makeup. Also if you have any queries regarding any of the products I use, please definitely leave them in the comments. So before leaving, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please definitely hit that subscribe button down below and click on the notification bell as well since you'll get notified of all the future videos as soon as I post them. Anyways, I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Okay, so...